Hello and welcome back to LDT 3135, which is Practical Project Management. I'm Dr. Tim Boileau, and in this module, we continue our discussion from last week by turning our attention to the topic of working with people on projects. As we will see, this requires identification of project stakeholders, building a project culture based on communication and collaboration, and an introduction to the PMBOK project stakeholder management processes. As you can see, we have a fair amount of information to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's our agenda for this module. We continue to focus on stakeholder engagement in Agile, including working with stakeholders, a quick look at stakeholder groups and waterfall models, Agile project culture, servant leadership and Agile environments, Agile stakeholder engagement, work in Agile teams, project stakeholder management processes in PMBOK, and next steps for the remainder of this module. In the project management text chapter assigned for this module, Watt states that a project is successful when it achieves its objectives and meets or exceeds the expectations of the stakeholders. But who are the stakeholders? Stakeholders are individuals who either care about or have a vested interest in your project. They are the people who are actively involved with the work of the project or have something to either gain or lose as a result of the project. It's important to identify all stakeholders and stakeholder groups for the project during development of the project management plan to avoid costly problems later in the project as a result of missing or misidentified user requirements. Just as there are different project life cycles depending on the project scope and type of product, there may be different project stakeholder groups. In predictive waterfall life cycle models, typical stakeholder groups may include top management, which includes the company president, vice presidents, directors, division managers, etc., who are responsible for directing the strategy and development of the organization, as well as the project team which consists of specialists and SMEs who are either dedicated to the project or borrowed on a part-time basis to support the project. You have internal customers. These are individuals within the organization directly impacted by the project with the authority to approve or reject the work of the project team. External customers are individuals outside of the organization who will use the product that is produced in the project. And government stakeholders apply to certain businesses and industries, such as pharmaceutical, banking, or military industries, who are subject to government oversight and regulations, typically associated with major milestone delivery. As we will see, in Agile project lifecycle models, project stakeholders are identified within the project culture that is associated with the Agile environments. So, as we learned in a previous module, Client culture refers to the beliefs, attitudes, and values that the organization's members share and the behaviors that are consistent with them. There is a project culture representing the shared norms, beliefs, values, and assumptions of the project team. Project culture is reflected in the communications management plan and in the project stakeholder management processes that are described in the PMI PMBOK. As we see in the Project Agile Practice Guide reading assignment for this module, project culture is reflected in the Agile environment, the project team, and stakeholders. Working with people is at the core of the Agile environment, expressed as servant leadership. According to the Agile Practice Guide, Agile approaches emphasize servant leadership as a way to empower teams. Servant leadership is the practice of leading through service to the team by focusing on understanding and addressing the needs and development of team members in order to be able to enable the highest possible team performance. The following characteristics of servant leadership help to create and maintain a project culture for success. Promoting self-awareness, listening, serving those on the team, coaching versus controlling, promoting safety, respect, and trust, and promoting the energy and intelligence of others.
Stakeholder engagement practiced by Agile servant leaders is built on managing relationships to build communication and coordination among stakeholders within the team and across the organization. When project managers act as servant leaders, the emphasis shifts from managing coordination to facilitating collaboration. Stakeholder management responsibilities in Agile include, but are not limited to, educating stakeholders on the Agile environment. This includes roles, events, and artifacts. Support the team through mentoring, encouragement, and constant communication. Help the team with technical project management activities like quantitative risk analysis. And celebrate team successes and support bridge building activities with external stakeholder groups. Team members in Agile teams work to collaborate in various ways with all project stakeholders so they do not fall into the trap of many waterfalls instead of collaborative work through iterative and incremental development. Attributes of successful Agile teams include dedicated people working in small teams for increased focus and productivity, cross-functional team members able to integrate all work efforts to develop and deliver often, and a stable work environment using time-boxed development iterations for incremental product delivery. According to the PMI PMBOK 6th edition, a stakeholder is an individual, group, or organization that may affect or be affected by or perceive itself to be affected by a decision, activity, or outcome of a project. Project stakeholders may be internal or external to the project team. Examples of internal and external stakeholders are provided in a table and in the diagram. Taking a look at the diagram, in general, stakeholders that are shown in the smaller circles tend to be more actively engaged on a regular basis with the project team. According to the PMBOK, the project stakeholder management knowledge area includes the processes required to identify the people, groups, or organizations that could impact or be impacted by the project. The four processes that we'll discuss below support analysis of stakeholder expectations and their impact on the project by employing appropriate management strategies for effectively engaging stakeholders in project decisions and execution. The project stakeholder management processes included in the standard are identify stakeholders. The process of identifying stakeholders begins with the project charter and aligns with the initiating process group in the PMBOK. Project stakeholders provide important feedback on product increments to document relevant information related to their interests, involvement, influence, and impact on project success. Plan stakeholder engagement. This process assists with development of strategies to build stakeholder engagement based on their needs and to assist in meeting client expectations. This process directly supports development of the communications management plan and it aligns with the planning process group in the PMBOK. Manage stakeholder engagement. This is the process of communicating and working with stakeholders to meet their needs and expectations, to address any issues or problems, and maintain engagement during each product development lifecycle phase or sprint. This process aligns with the executing process group in the PMBOK. And monitor stakeholder engagement. This process monitors stakeholder relationships to identify and address any gaps in the engagement strategies and plans. This process supports project communications management and is aligned with the monitoring and controlling process group in the PMBOK. The project stakeholder management processes are included in every project lifecycle phase, covering all of the project management process groups in the PMBOK. There are evolving and emerging trends and practices for project stakeholder management identified in the PMBOK, which include, but are not limited to, identification of all stakeholders and not just a limited set ensuring that all team members are involved in stakeholder engagement activities, 
reviewing the stakeholder community regularly in parallel with sprint reviews, and stakeholder participation in project sprints for co-creation of project increments. There are some additional considerations for agile environments. Agile teams engage with stakeholders directly rather than going through layers of management. This helps to mitigate risk, build trust, and support adjustments earlier in the product development life cycle, thus reducing costs and increasing the likelihood of success for the project. We conclude this presentation with next steps. Be sure to work through all parts of the course materials for Project Module 6, including all content, activities, and assignments. The only assignment for this module is the next sprint. And of course, be sure to get your project management plan submitted for grading. Looking ahead, be sure to complete all associated readings in the course schedule as you prepare for Module 7. This brings us to the end of the presentation. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Until next time, this is Dr. Tim Boylo, wishing each of you a pleasant learning experience, and I'll see you online.